An environmental disaster is going down off the coast of South Australia. Across thousands of square kilometres of ocean, fish are struggling to breathe, thousands of sea creatures are dying and washing up, and people are being urged not to swim. There is a huge algal bloom that is literally being described as an underwater bushfire because of the devastation it's causing. From the coastline, it looks like slight water discoloration and brownish foam, but here it is under a microscope. This is the type of algae that is dominating in South Australia. ABC reporter Jessica Haynes has done a breakdown of the three key events leading up to this, so let's take a look. First of all, the state experienced river flooding that saw runoff enter the ocean. Then a cold upswelling brought nutrient-rich water to the surface. And then in September of last year, a marine heat wave began, which has seen temperatures 2.5 degrees above normal levels. From there, some surfers started reporting sore throats and blurred vision, brown foam and dead sea life started to appear, and now we're seeing this, a months-long crisis along the coastlines. Authorities say climate change has been a key driver in this disaster and that all of those key events could be attributed to climate change. The worst bit is, according to the latest science, nothing can be immediately done to speed up the bloom diluting. Experts are just hoping there will be enough small marine plankton to eat and take up enough of the algae so it can't re-evolve next summer. New modelling from one uni predicts it will ease over winter but worsen over summer. As for long-term solutions, the Biodiversity Council has put forward these seven steps, which include emergency intervention for species at high risk of extinction, more research and better planning, and more aggressive climate action. A $28 million funding package has now been announced to be put towards small business grants and monitoring research and cleanup efforts.